Keith Scott reporting live here at Stoneworks right in the quarry for a special fundraising event and I'm here with Justice Jason Pulliam for tonight's event, fundraising event right here in the quarry. Justice Pulliam, tell us a little bit about this event and what it means to you this evening to be here with this fundraiser. Well, thank you so much for coming out and BVN for your support. Um, this event is to raise money because it's a campaign to retain a position on the Fourth Court of Appeals. And the Fourth Court of Appeals is an appellate court. We hear criminal and civil cases for a 32-county region that covers most of South Texas. We hear cases like rape, robbery, murder, theft. We hear civil cases like appeals from an oil and gas lease, okay. a contract case, deceptive trade practices case, negligence cases. And for many cases, we are the last stop in the legal pipeline. Most cases do not go above us to the Texas Supreme Court if it's a civil case or the Court of Criminal Appeals if it's a criminal case. So litigants come before us and it affects their lives because we decide whether they're about their liberty, we decide uh, their money, their property, liability cases, we decide what contracts say in this 32 county region. So it has a great effect on the citizens of this part of Texas. Well, that's one of the things I wanted to touch on. And I want you to go in more into depth when we talk about how important it is and how it affects us in the community when we talk about the fourth court. Right, and so when we say appeals, think of it as a review of a case below. So when someone wants to challenge the jury verdict, whether it's a criminal case or a civil case, or they want to challenge a decision that a judge or jury made, they come to the Fourth Court of Appeals. They file their appeal. We sit in panels of three judges. And so those three judges will review the case. If we determine that oral argument is necessary, we have oral argument in the case. And that's where the attorneys for both sides come to the Fourth Court and advocate on behalf of their clients um, why the decision below is correct or incorrect. And our decision in many instances will affect um, their property rights, their, their liberty interests, um, their contract rights, their employee-employer relationship rights for this 32-county uh, region. Okay, that's very informative information, Justice Folium. Also, I want you to touch on some of your goals if the election goes the way you want it to. Touch on some of the things that you want to do and make a difference in the community here in the Alamo City. Well, well thank you for that question, Keith. Um, what I'd like to do is many folks just never meet their judges and so what I'd like to continue doing because I did this previously when I was judge on the county court okay. um, get from behind the bench and get in the community okay. um, go to career day events let kids know that they can be more than they might think about at this current moment keep their dreams alive I want them to dare to believe to know that they can become uh, whatever it is they, their hearts desire whether it's an engineer or an attorney or a teacher or, or a reporter like yourself. Okay. Um, so when they see people like me in the community off the bench, it takes away some of that, uh, uh, some of the imagery that they might have, some of the fear factor that they might have about the court system. We have uh, schools and courts where we bring children down for visits to the courtroom. I'd love to continue doing that. And if folks want to reach out to me, they can go to jasonforjudge.com. They can send me an email. It'll come to me and I'll reach out to you and come to your school. I'll speak to the students, whether it's a career day. Um, I go to reading events and listen to kids read just to inspire and encourage them. Well, it seems like you got your strategy planned out, Justice Pulliam. I want to thank you for taking the time out for allowing BBN to be a part of this fundraising event. This is Keith Scott with the fundraising event right here at Stoneworks, right here in the quarry in the Alamo City with Justice Pulliam. This is Special Report, Keith Scott, Black Video News.